So we have this new scenario where we have um, these CSV files that are actually in a folder, all of them. And we need to somehow combine all of them so we can analyze all of the data in those CSV files. To do that, we can actually go with Power Query. And before we actually go to the folder, I'm going to go straight to one of the CSVs. Uh, it's just going to be one of those. And from here, I'm going to create the function like we actually used to create the function on the previous videos. So in order to create the function, I'm going to name this function as fx. And fx is going to be equal to, uh, let's say that's going to be file path. And file path is going to be right here where you actually see this quote marks. That's going to be the file path. We're going to replace that, and then in fx, which is just going to be uh, the function. So that's how you actually create the function. I'm going to store this as fx, just going to save it. And then we can actually go straight to the file from folder, go where it says uh, OneDrive. We're just going to find my folder, which is just this one, spec data. Again, this is based on an error programming language uh, uh, assignment, sorry. So I just need the folder pad and the name of the file, which is just this one. So remove other columns. I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go to add column, add custom column. fx is the name of my function. And the function is the folder pad concatenated with the name, which is just going to be the file path. And you're going to see that I haven't yet uh, actually filtered anything. But in here, you see that this one is not a CSV file, so I actually get an error. So I just want the CSV. I can just go with duplicate this column. I'm going to split column by delimiter. This is just going to be the dot. So I can actually just get the extension. And I just want the CSVs. Now that I actually got that information, I can just remove this. Remove this and this one. And as you can actually see here, this is the information for the uh, location, the actual uh, monitor. So we can actually just transform this into a whole number. And this is going to be the monitor. And we can actually expand this now. Now, in this data set, you'll see the ID, which is actually the monitor as well, I mean, not monitor ID. Uh, but let's say that in this case, we didn't have this. We just have the date, the sulfate, and nitrate. We can go ahead and do that. We're going to rename these columns so they can actually show as they were in that data set. Let's remove this. Nitrate. And one way that we can actually do this, instead of having a nitrate and a sulfate column, is that we can actually just pivot those. Or unpivot, sorry. And with those columns, and we're going to have this new column called attribute, which is going to name type, where we're going to have two values, nitrate and sulfate, and they're going to have the values here. Now, you see that we actually have a bunch of NAs, and we want to actually work with this column as numeric, so we're going to need to get rid of that NA, and then transform this into a decimal number. And this date is going to have to go as a date. And with that, we're going to actually just load this to my worksheet, my workbook. And instead of going with Power Pivot, we can actually just create a simple pivot table with this information, summarize with pivot table. And here, I can actually just Let's say that I can actually put the monitor as filter, 
the value here instead of a sum I'm gonna do a mean which is just gonna be an average arithmetic mean uh, the type we can actually use that type as a slicer and if I actually wanted to I can actually slice it as a date as a timeline as well and you know that we can actually uh, test this out so we're gonna grab this information which is just gonna be against 10 sorry 20 yes from 1 to 10 is the first one the first 10 a sulfate and we can actually just test the other one which is just number 20 let's just go with it or 23 sorry and there you have it so this is how you actually work with all the data that you actually need in order to combine it you can slice it as you want with a simple pivot table and combine all of those with uh, Power Query. Power Query actually helped me out in order to get that monitor ID, even that I actually didn't have it. And that's why I actually created this function. Now let's say that besides that information, I could, I could actually have used any of these information about that access, modify, they created more attributes like compressed device, directory, encrypted, hidden, we can actually span all of those and basically you can use any of this information to be part of my final data set my final table and that is it guys uh, if you have any questions just let me know in the comments thanks